Josh and Bull Ross back in again with another video. So we're going to check out real reason why Brock Lesnar won WWE Championship at WWE Day 1 on uh, WrestleMania's channel. I already uh, made my video talking about uh, my thoughts and opinions on uh, WWE Day 1. So go check that out. Go check out my little mini rant I had about Brock winning the WWE Championship. But let's see the real reason why he won um i'm be honest with you uh the real reason i feel like one of the real reasons why he did win the match is because vince just has a hard on for brock lesnar a day one is over and brock lesnar is your new wwe champion confused well you won't be after this video as we analyze the real reason why wwe <sighs> put the wwe championship on brock lesnar again be sure to subscribe and hit that notification for bell for daily wrestling videos and follow Rock us on and Facebook Roman, for exclusive he has a major hard on for them. Now in case you missed tonight's day one show, the WWE announced that Roman Reigns would be unable to defend the Universal Championship against Brock Lesnar due to Reigns announcing he tested positive for COVID-19. As a result, the WWE inserted Lesnar into the fatal four-way match for Big East WWE Championship, with Lesnar joining Kevin Owens and Bobby Lashley and Seth freaking Rollins, making it now a fatal five-way. Although Lesnar by no means dominated the match, he won the bout after countering a big ending attempt by the champion F5-ing Big E to become the WWE Champion for the sixth time. However, what was the real reason behind WWE booking Lesnar to win, and is it a good thing? Well, firstly, let's look at why they booked Brock to win, as number one, the show must go on. Now, obviously, one of the biggest reasons was that the WWE didn't want to disappoint fans who tuned in to watch Lesnar vs Reigns, and the fans who had bought tickets for the live event. While Lesnar vs Reigns couldn't be replaced, Lesnar's position in the match lessened the sting both for fans who wanted to see Lesnar versus. That's fine. I'm okay. If you want to have him in the match because I know people wanted to see him, that's fine. He didn't have to win, though. That's my only thing. He didn't have to win. So I get why they put him in the match because it's Brock Lesnar. He, he, he wanted to have him in there. I get it. But he didn't have to win. That's my only thing. Reigns and for Lesnar fans specifically by giving the Beast another WWE title reign. The WWE could have half assed things by having Lesnar squash someone in a meaningless match or attack the Usos. Instead, the WWE used Lesnar's star power for damage control. Number two, day one had to be huge. Now, we've commented on the news that WWE President Nick Khan was committed to not only making the WWE's new event a success, but transforming it into a major show the likes of WrestleMania, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, and even the Royal Rumble. No. Although day one was a good show, the WWE likely felt it needed something big to happen on the show, or fans would think day one was just the new version of Taboo Tuesday. Hey, actually, I really like Taboo Tuesday. Bring Taboo it back. Tuesday was While it remains to be bad. seen how fans will react to Lesnar's win, the WWE deserves credit for its efforts to give the fans an OMG moment. Number three, the WWE doesn't know how long Roman Reigns will be out. A Roman Reigns' past battles with leukemia put him at risk for infections, plenty of reason to keep him out of the WWE until he knows he is COVID free. At this point, all that's known is that Reigns tested positive for COVID and it's unknown whether he's symptomatic. Or while Reigns may be asymptomatic, what if he isn't? The WWE could be looking at a lengthy absence for Reigns, and it needs a high-profile superstar to hold a world championship. Here's the problem that I have with this mindset. You create your high-profile superstars by booking them and having them in compelling storylines. Going back to the same well over and over and over, at some point, you got to create some new stars because they're not going to be able to do this forever. That's my problem. Yep. Now, although Big E has made tremendous strides rising up the WWE roster, he's not a Roman Reigns or a Brock Lesnar. So if Reigns does have to take any significant time off, they may end up putting Lesnar on Raw and SmackDown. Number four, Lashley versus Lesnar can finally happen. It can happen without the championship. Uh, anybody who says it needs the championship, no, it doesn't. It never needed it. It can happen without the championship. The fans begging for Bobby Lashley vs Brock Lesnar to happen may actually get their wish, and if tonight's brief interaction between the two titans was any indication of what to expect, this could be one of the WWE's greatest matches in years. 
Now, you may recall that Bobby Lashley has been asking for a match against Lesnar for years, and rumor has it that getting about with Brock was part of the reason he agreed to return to WWE all the way back in 2018. Was on four. Both wrestlers took each other to the limit, but the WWE booked the Fatal Five way well, showing that Lashley was unlike most opponents Lesnar has faced. The Almighty sent Lesnar through a security barrier with a spear and later had him in trouble when he applied the Hurt Lock, with Lesnar succumbing until Big E had to break things up. But now that Lesnar is WWE Champion, the WWE has the perfect opportunity to book an extended program between Lashley and Lesnar. But while it's important to keep Lesnar positioned strongly for a rematch with Reigns, that shouldn't keep the dream bout off the table, nor should the WWE do something foolish like have Lesnar squash Lashley one on one. Number 5 And I wouldn't be surprised if they did that either. Raw needs the beast. Now Lesnar's title win may have been one of the most fortuitous things to happen on Raw since WCW's dominance forced the WWE to adopt. I might have to disagree with you, WrestleMania. They don't need him. I'm telling you this. Oh, it's like people have forgotten the dark ages of not seeing the championship on the show. How do people forget, bro? It's like, no. People, people are going to freak, bro. He's not going to be on the show like that. So you're not even going to see the championship unless he agrees to travel, which we're talking about Brock here. It's not happening, bro. I get it. He does bring some star power, but no. And we've been there and done that. It's just like people forgot. An edgier tone. No, Lesnar's WWE Championship reign isn't going to revive the Attitude Era, but it could give the Red Brand a much needed power up. Roy has been performing poorly in the ratings and leading some fans to wonder if there's any way to make the show interesting. While Lesnar is- Yeah, if he's on there every, you know, more than, more than once a month type shit, sure, it could help, but he's not. So. Isn't going to solve Raw's structural flaws with its storytelling. His presence on Raw gives the WWE a chance to bring in new or lapsed fans to show in. And with Monday Night Football nearly over, it couldn't come at a better time. Now, although the WWE's track record suggests nothing is going to change on Raw when it comes to fixing its bad booking, Lesnar's presence offers yet another hope spot for fans bored with the WWE's Monday Night Show. Number 6. It's an up the ante for WrestleMania 38. And with any luck, Roman Reigns will be back soon and WWE can continue its plans for booking Reigns vs Brock at Mania. While it's unknown how the WWE was going to book day one's now cancelled Reigns vs Lesnar match, rumour has it that the WWE was planning something big to set up their third match at the showcase of the Immortals. And we'll likely never get that match, but if Reigns vs Lesnar does happen, the WWE has a scenario that's potentially even bigger, a title unification match between the that would be cool, but I don't think WWE is going to unify the championships. I would love that. I actually would love that. If they just unified the championships, that would be okay. That would be okay with me. But I don't think they're going to do it. Reason being, Fox wants certain things and certain people on certain shows. Fox wants them on, on their show. Raw wants them on their show. They don't want... Roman floating between the shows or Brock floating between the shows. They don't. They don't. It's as simple as that. They don't they don't want that. It's they're still even though it, it's all WWE, these separate networks are in competition with each other still. So they want certain people. So I don't think it's gonna happen that way. That that's this is the reason why we have the draft, because you would I mean, granted, you could still have the draft and just have only one championship that they're feuding for. But a lot of people will fall by the wayside because their roster is huge. If you only have one unification title, then pretty much their whole roster, a lot of people will just fall into mid to, mid card purgatory. They would because not a, not a lot of people will even get an opportunity to go for the title. So it would be cool and interesting, but I don't think they will – because how they have things set up with the networks on Fox and how they have things set work on the network with uh, on Monday Night Raw. I think they uh, they were USA. I want to say they were USA. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to work. But it would be cool if it was. In the Tribal Chief and the Beast Incarnate, with fans getting the chance to see one man emerge with both championships. That's about as big as it gets when it comes to main events, so as unfortunate as Reign's absence was, the WWE may have tended into something even greater than originally planned. But that was why Brock Lesnar won, why is it a bad decision? As number one, it's typical Vince hotshotting. 
Thank and we've you. explored the reasons why the WWE booked Lesnar into the match and decided to make him champion. Was it the right decision? Now we don't think so and feel it's another example of Vince McMahon's over-resilience on hot-shotting to solve any problem that comes up. McMahon appears to think that he needs a big change of plans and that nothing short of a big surprise, even if Lesnar's win was predictable once his participation in the match was announced, would save the show. Number 2. Bad Booking for Biggie the WWE yes. mishandled Biggie's push with the main event's finish. So Lesnar did not need to defeat Biggie for the title due to the. That's what I said in my video. He didn't need to beat him. You literally just any Biggie's about to go back to mid card purgatory with Kofi Kingston and Xavier. You might as well put him on SmackDown, bro. Bro. I don't even want to see him trying to go for the title because he's not winning. As long as Brock has that championship, he's not winning. Nobody's beating Brock while he has that championship. So, and outside of Roman, so fatal five-way stipulation. Indeed, the best move would have been to someone other than Bobby Lashley to take the pin, setting yeah. up a rematch between Biggie down the road. Even if the WWE wanted to have Biggie put Lesnar over, it made the New Day's big man look weak by losing to one F5. Thank you. Number three, it spoiled existing plans for Raw. And their hot shotting likely changed its original plans for tonight's fatal four way. As we believe Seth Rollins would have won the title, giving the WWE a surefire program with Biggie chasing Seth for the title. Yeah. And this could have led to some excellent matches leading up to WrestleMania. I, I, I called Seth potentially being the guy to win because I felt Biggie was going to lose no matter what. But I felt like Seth was going to win the match. Yeah, but that's off the table now, and Biggie versus Rollins may not happen for some time to come. Once again, the WWE went into panic mode, likely upsetting its long-term plans. And number four, it's a bad sign for Raw's main eventers. Ultimately, Lesnar's win is a sign that Vince McMahon doesn't have much faith in Raw's main eventers. Lesnar didn't need to win the championship tonight, even if the WWE insisted the Beast work the match in order to make up for Reigns versus Lesnar's cancellation. Lesnar could have worked the match without losing, allowing him to return to SmackDown and resume his quest for Roman Reigns' universe. Bro, it's so simple. If you wanted him in the match because you already paid him or you're paying him good money, you don't want to disappoint the fans, have him in the fucking match. You don't have to have him get pinned. You can just have him do what Brock does, chill, and that's it, and have someone else. Seth Rollins win. Kevin Owens win. Whoever. And fans would have still been excited. <sighs> Universal title. But now the WWE has to figure out whether Lesnar is going to stay on Raw. And if so, what it means for the rest of Raw's main eventers. Will they be fed to Lesnar to hype up another match with Reigns? Now, while the WWE may have felt obligated to give the fans a big moment for tonight's show, Lesnar's title win has the potential to do more harm than good. Lesnar needs to be on SmackDown whether Roman Reigns returns in the near or whether he's out for an extended period. If Reigns returns, the WWE could reschedule day one's Lesnar vs Reigns match at the Royal Rumble. If Reigns is going to be absent for some time, the WWE should put the Universal Championship on Lesnar until the head of the table returns, setting things up for a rematch Vince McMahon seems to want regardless of the cost. Now, Reigns, more to the point his heel character, is the best thing to happen to SmackDown and if he's gone for long, the WWE will need to put someone like Lesnar on to try and keep the blue brand's ratings at their current level. But there you have it folks, the real reason why Brock Lesnar won the championship at day one. Bro, the blue brand is done. SmackDown's done. They're done. They don't have nobody else. Because it's Vince. It's, it's partially because of Vince. Because you, you've only been pushing Roman for the past 12 months. You had not really pushed anyone else. You got Drew, but Drew ain't. He can't save that show by himself. They're done. They are literally done. So, unless you're going to pay Brock a handsome amount of money. Because he's going to have to travel between Raw and SmackDown. They're done. SmackDown's done. Sorry. That's just what it is. For now, until Roman's able to come back. And I don't want him to rush to come back because that's a serious thing. COVID's a very serious thing. So, uh, WrestleMania was starting to lose me, but I think he was playing both sides of the of the conversation, the people that are for it and the people that are against it, against Brock winning. Um, hey, man. I... I, I if you see my rant video, I pretty much explained how I feel about it, so I'm not going to go into detail here. I will just say this. WWE, Vince McMahon, 
they will not learn until it's too late when they have hit up Brock too many times, Goldberg too many times, Roman Reigns too many times because he's going to be leaving soon. John Cena is probably not coming back for a while. Once those individuals are done, who are they going to have left? Tell me, who are they going to have left? And they're not going to learn their lesson until they have literally used up those individuals so much that it doesn't even bring excitement anymore. They're not going to learn. They won't. Until the ratings start falling. Until they start losing money. They really care about the ratings and the money. That's when they'll learn. Push the people that you have on your shows. And that's the only way you're going to create new stars. Because if I'm a wrestler, and I've been wrestling for Vince, I've been busting my ass for Vince, only for Brock to come in and win just like that, that lets you know, that lets the whole roster know, he does not believe in you. I got to give it to Brock. He doesn't believe in you. And that sucks. They're not going to learn. They're not going to learn until it's too late. Until they have, they can't use those people anymore. And it's not going to matter because they haven't built up anybody on their main roster. No one even cares. People are not going to care. So it's like, damn. Well, now what you going to do? So, comment down below. Let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video by WrestleMania. I like I like that he did, you know, break down both sides of it, the positives and the negatives for some people. But uh, yeah, man, this I'm I'm still the whole Brock Lesnar winning thing. That's just definitely uh, left a sour taste in my mouth, man. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one.